above normal radiation levels. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. Life support. be right. All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your Pathfinder thing. Oh, you're good. I didn't do a thing. How far down do you think it goes? Electrostatic? Ah, uh, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. Hey!
Acting like a gravity well. But where is it taking us? Embrace the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like... Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. I think that gravity well works in reverse, too. Then we have a way out. You're not leaving already, are you? Not until we find those processor controls. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... Pathfinder, the conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault. But you can. That'll get their attention. Lucky me. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. Ah, here's the rock you kicked down here. Safe and sound. Wow. I really was just scratching the surface. Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead. Or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. These data pattern things are incredible. If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. Not a bad idea. We'll cover twice the ground. See? I knew you were smart. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. Ten credits say she ends up in a pit of spikes. Check. It's, well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. Well, look at this. No way through. No interface points. Hmm. Sam, note it down for later. through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Looks like a blast shield. That might be handy. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. through everything here. Can you feel it? Let's stay focused. We can worry after we find the system locked out. So whatever that liquid is, they need a whole aqueduct of it. Make that two aqueducts, at least. I just crossed one. Don't fool 
Loading that liquid. It burns through your shield. Found that out the hard way. Use the pillars for cover. for an atmosphere processor? What is this place? Ah, watch yourselves, it burns. How come this liquid hasn't dried up? Unless turning that conduit on started it all flowing again, wouldn't that be something? Another aqueduct? How many do they need? Are those roads down there? I can't even see where they end.
Some things down here work, and some don't. Perhaps to direct and assist manual reactivation of the vault, or to mislead intruders. Great. reasons to build it. processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. And it didn't work out so great. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise.
I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Device is online and makes a shield. At least it's friendly. Layers and layers of defenses. If they're defenses. is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? Crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Careful. No way you can interface with the console like that. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. A gauntlet. Or maybe a hand tool. Our scientists will love it either way. Ryder! Up here! <laughs> what happened? I can't get... the doors to work. The condo was breached! Hey, wait! The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omni tool. Maybe they can patch up the conduit? And received! I'll give them a shot! Dead. Without the conduit, there's not even enough power for the door. to those frequencies. Just a patch job, but it should hold. Nice work. If it's fixed, the console should work now. Looks like it worked. There's even a bridge. You're a pal, Ryder. Where are you going? We've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. First one gets the glory. We'll catch up. If we got that door working, too. Will you look at that? How do we get across? Watch your step. It's still a long drop. Sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close.
glad I didn't eat a big breakfast. Company! Electronics compensating. Oh, that bit slippery. We're two gravity wells down already, and this place goes even deeper. What's at the bottom? Let's not find out the hard way.
Moving out. Too far, even for jump jets. under our feet. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. Lockdown console. Huh. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be... Good. Two. Should we go? Maybe get back to the entrance now. I saw it. What is that thing? Don't risk it. Just go. Watch out! Vents! I look back! Why did I look back? Too far to jump! Got another bridge? Get to the ground! 
gravity well. Not moving. Find an override. Hansel is attempting service reconnection. Come on! Warp restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did restarting the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? Unless the Builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these Builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey! Look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen.
Cats ahead. They appear to be fighting a Kroger. Is that... Drac? Thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. So the clouds parted, and these cat look pretty keeled over. Maybe us humans can pull our weight after all. Well, you can, clearly. But there's a lot to do before I'd be that smug about it. You know what? I'm gonna ignore my gut and join up. This fight was good, and we can do it again. And before you go saying you don't need a Krogan, believe me, you do. That's what I said. The first colonists sent audio logs about these regions back to the Nexus. And? Fairwinds Basin. Lowest radiation count in the area. Little bit of hope. It is Carlo. Notice that? This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. 
You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. I'm choosing this outpost's direction for decades. Maybe centuries. That is the prime responsibility of a Pathfinder. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. A military outpost. We defend our own against the Ket. Or anyone else. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder, Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. I feel like I should toss you the keys. Be nice. It's been through a lot. Understood. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen eager for months. Eos is far from golden. But now it's defensible. Arguing that choice will come later. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed. But after failing for so long... No one agrees on how to do it. Be aware. That's all. Don't worry. I majored in glad handing during Pathfinder training. We're led by the best. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus.